Welcome everyone to another day of daily prayer. I'm so glad that you could be with me again today. And today is the day, come on and say it, that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Aren't you so good that you serve the Lord Jesus Christ and that he's your king and your Lord and and your master? That's right. He is your master. He's your Messiah. He gave every he gave that he gave his drop of blood every drop of blood his blood was so precious that it covered and atoned atone for your sins that we could not because we could not keep the laws we could not keep everything so jesus came to make the atonement when once way back way back before then animals were used to atone for the sins of man that's right but jesus the lamb of god that's who he's referred to the lamb of god who shed his blood for us has atoned for our sin amen so i know you're having a wonderful day especially if you know the lord jesus christ amen and i want you to grab your bibles and we're going to get started and i want you to turn over to matthew uh, matthew 6 and 33 and as you're doing that i want to speak to those that don't know jesus as your lord now i can say to those believers thank god for this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice because we have a good father. Now, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord, you don't know what you're missing out. I can tell you this. What you're experiencing now is not going to be compared to what you experience when you come under the Lordship. When you come under the kingship of Jesus. He's your cornerstone. He's your. He will be your cornerstone, your firm foundation. Hallelujah. Right now you are sitting on sinking sand you are sitting on sinking sand with with without guarantees but when you come under the lordship and the kingship of jesus god has given you his covenant promise of what he will do to you and that's why we meet here every day so that we can go through the word of god together and then pray pray for each other amen hallelujah all right so verse 33 matthew 6 it says but seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you what are these things in the first and well if you go above and you go above in 31 it says therefore take no thought of what we shall eat what we shall drink withal wherewithal shall we be clothed it says for after all these things do the gentiles seek for your heavenly father know that you have need of these things that's that is what the things are that's in mentioned in 33 all these things are going to be added but if you if you want to do that you must seek first god's kingdom god's will god's way god's plan and it says in his righteousness his right way of living which is according to the word of god that's what you have to seek first seek god's kingdom seek all seek him seek him every day don't be concerned about uh you know the things of the day yes i know that they are concerns because you know it's like it's like a sound, a blaring alarm it's like a somebody on a megaphone you know you you can't you can't avoid it but god says if you seek first the kingdom first even though you're in the midst of this if you seek the kingdom and his righteousness his way of living right and all these things what are those things again food clothes shelter all drink what you what you need to eat all these things will be added to you and then he goes on to say that take therefore no thought for the morrow for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof don't worry about the things coming to the things for tomorrow but be concerned have your concern and your care 
uh, in seeking God's kingdom and his way of living. Amen. Amen. All right. So now we're going to move into prayer. And, and again, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then I want you to hang out with me after we pray. And I'm going to introduce you to this Jesus that we know and love and who loves us and gave his life for us. And he gave his life for you. And that's why you have that available opportunity right now to get saved and to know and to really come into a real relationship with with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, saints, come on now, come on. Yes, Holy Father, we invite you here with us, Father. We invite you, we invite you, and we ask you to come, Lord God. You said, Father, where there are two or more gathered together, Jesus, you shall be in the midst of us, Lord God, and we welcome you here in our midst today. In the name of Jesus, we invite you, Spirit of the Living God, to have your way. Come on, saints, come on. Lord, I ask that you would stir up the gifts and the callings in those that are under the sound of my voice. Father, I ask that you would stir up, Holy Spirit, stir up the gifts in them. Stir it up in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hey, come on, saints. If you don't have your heavenly language, just praise God. Oh, Father, we praise you. We magnify you. We rejoice in you. You are the Lord omnipotent, Lord God. You are full of glory. Thank you, Lord. You are the faithful one, Lord. You are of Alpha and Omega. Uh, you are the beginning and the end. You are the King of glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Holy Spirit. Yes, Holy Spirit. We invite you to come even now, Spirit of the living God. I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, that you would come even now and touch each and every person, Lord, Father God, under the sound of my voice. I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, that you would come upon them, that you would come upon their family, come upon their household, that you would permeate the atmosphere that surrounds them in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would be like Mount Zion that surrounds Jerusalem Lord that you would surround your people today in the name of Jesus hallelujah come on saints that's it that's it that's it press into Jesus thank you lord you are the very firm foundation for which we stand all other ground is sinking sand hallelujah 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 we praise you king jesus thank you lord for being our king for being the governor for being the prince for being everything to us lord jesus you are the i am hallelujah Come on, saints. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The presence of the Lord is here. Open up your mouth wide and I will fill it. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we speak provision right now into each and every household in the name of Jesus. Jesus, the provision of the Lord in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We ask you, thank you, Lord, that you will fill cabinets, Lord. Lord God, and Lord God, that there will be no lack of one in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Lord God. Lord, you like David said, he's never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We decree. We ask you for provision today. We ask you for financial provision. We ask you for all types of provision today. We ask you, Lord, for money to meet the needs, Lord, of your people today, God. We ask you, Lord, God. Thank you, Lord. Fulfill, Lord, you, Lord, you provide for us, Lord, God, according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And we thank you right now. And I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every person right now. The blood, the blood of Jesus over each and every person in the name of Jesus. I give you praise, Father. I give you praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Brothers and sisters, amen. Now, if you are with us and you don't know Jesus, then I want you to repeat this prayer after me. I want you to say, Dear God, I come to you as a sinner. And I want to be saved from my sins. I want to confess Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I ask you to forgive me, Lord, for breaking your law and being a sinner, sinning against you. I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. He hung on the cross and died on the third day and and died and then he was raised on the third day and he is alive and seated at your right hand. Amen, amen. If you just prayed that prayer, then I want you to let me pray over you. Father, I ask that you will fill each and every person under the sound of my voice with the Holy Spirit, Lord. Fill them up today. Fill them with the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill them up. Fill them up, Jesus. Fill them up today with your Spirit in the name of Jesus and raise them up to be ministers and witnesses of you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. I know someone has just received the Lord I know it and so now the next thing you got to do my brothers and sisters as the angels rejoice over you now I want you to go find a church home and I want you to go and uh, tell that pastor that you've just been just received Jesus and that you would like to be baptized please let them know that you want to be baptized because that's the next thing you have to do amen all right my brothers and sisters I'm glad you could be with me again on another day and I look forward to seeing you next time on another day of daily prayer have a wonderful and blessed day in Jesus okay bye bye